Hello everyone and welcome to Aviation A to Z. Today we are going to talk about a really important topic that is regarding MRO. MRO stands for Maintenance, Repair and Overall. Let us see what it is and how to get job in MROs. Remember to watch this video till end to know exact working tips and tricks. MRO includes all components required to keep a client focused on its core mission, which includes test and repair as well as the supplies and equipments required to keep all individual components, system and equipment running. The term MRO was first used by Department of Defense but has become standardized across multiple industries today. According to Department of Defense, MRO includes the replacement, test, measurement and repair required to keep or restore a component to a usable state. MRO category is broad and include three common types of maintenance that most organizations and facilities undertake. Number 1. Preventive Maintenance Preventive maintenance tasks are scheduled on a regular basis and designed to keep machines, components and other equipment functioning well. PM extends the life of aircraft and reduces the number of failures. Number 2. Corrective Maintenance Corrective maintenance tasks are performed after failure occurs. This involves fixing equipments, systems or components as well as replacing components that have broken down. Number 3. Predictive Maintenance Predictive maintenance tasks are created once a facility has monitored particular process over time and consider historical performance to predict future failure incidents. Steps are taken before those failures occur. There is thin line between preventive and predictive maintenance. Remember that. You got idea what is MRO and what they do. Now let us see how to get job in MRO. But before we see it, let us see how much potential does MRO carries. Talking about global MRO industry, with the expansion of business in commercial aviation industry, the MRO market that support it also expected to grow. Total MRO spend is expected to rise to 116 billion dollars by 2029 from 82 billion dollars in 2019 so we will see a 30 percent increment with annual average of three percent this will create new job opportunities business opportunities and development of individual and the region growth in aviation will be more concentrated in asia and particularly in china and in india by 2035, number of airports in China will almost double and it will be biggest global market for air travel. Asia will be new center of global aviation activity. Similar to China, Indian MRO industry has grown rapidly. Currently, India constitutes 1% of global MRO market worth 45 billion US dollars. The major steps government has taken towards the open sky policy increase in military, civil and business aircraft fleet in country, growing preference for air travel by India's largely underserved middle class because of Uran and focus by industry to optimize cost of aircraft operation provides a strong foundation for Indian MRO industry to strengthen its capability. Airlines in India spend about 13 to 15 percent of their revenue towards maintenance, the second highest cost item for airline after fuel. Generally, airlines carry on tarmac inspection that is A and B checks in-house and work with third-party MRO for engine heavy maintenance that is C and D checks and some modifications. Almost all airlines MRO infrastructure in India is captive that is narrow or confined with only one fully operational independent third-party provider MRO that is Airworks with an YASA certified facility and provides heavy maintenance for some aircrafts like Airbus A320, ATR 4272 and Boeing 737 family of aircrafts. GMR has set a partnership with MAS, an operational facility meeting YASA standards at Hyderabad. 
Till recently, in absence of quality infrastructure, airlines carried out maintenance outside India at nearest available MRO, that is in Southeast Asia, Middle East or in Europe, incurring a ferry flight, logistic cost, engine and component hours. Having flexibility to get aircraft service in India at local MRO with YASA approved facility results in 30 to 40 percent saving in a maintenance cost for an airline. Now there's a good news for all of us. MRO Association of India is already formed in 2011 and is now looking forward to bringing out newcomers in industry. As its non-profit organization, it charges only some amount to be a member of it. They will soon be providing a platform for student for AME training institution to become a student member. This will help pressures like us to get in-depth knowledge. So stay tuned and we will keep you updated regarding it as always. So quickly subscribe to us. Now question arises, what are current options for us to get job in MROs? Number 1. The best way to apply for job is by visiting the site of all major MRO list which we have provided in our Instagram post. Link is in description. Number 2. Apart from this, follow them on LinkedIn and daily visit them. It can hardly take few minutes. Number 3. Be active on social media. Now here active means not to post but to interact with people actually working in field. You can find them on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn or even in WhatsApp group. Try to talk regularly with them and ask them how they crack interviews or how to check for vacancies. Remember, don't irritate them by frequently asking for job but in a decent manner you can do it and get the better results. Number 4. Finally, try to email your resume to them by telling them that they are doing good work and you want to be part of it. If there is any new vacancy then please let me know and I will be glad to be part of this lovely organization. Now they will be glad to hear from you. This was some tips and advice only few people use and apply but I want all my viewers to know about it and apply it. Remember aviation is hospitality service field. Everyone working in this field has to follow decent behavior and 80% of them are really good people and will not talk badly with you. That was all for today. If you are still watching, here is your bonus. I have already started to provide information related to job vacancies on YouTube community post, but I will also keep you updated about new openings in future on Instagram and on my LinkedIn profile. So do follow me on Instagram at AviationA2Z and on LinkedIn as Bhavya Vilani. Now see you in another video with another helpful tips and information. Till then keep learning, keep watching and stay safe.